Good morning, good morning. Hey there, Heartbeat Andrea. Hey there, Heartbeat Latanya. Hey there, Heartbeat Sherry. Hey, Heartbeat Troy, Heartbeat Juanita. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you guys doing? So we're going to give people a couple seconds to jump on here. Good morning, Heartbeat on Gwen. I see somebody else is jumped on but i don't know that face so let me know who you are transformation thursday oh i love that i love that transformation thursday good morning heartbeat belinda transformation thursday love it love it love it good morning heartbeat val <laughs> good morning good morning good morning hey there heartbeat sean Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Queen. Oh, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Amani. Good morning, good morning. So how are we doing with uh, the distractions? Are we noticing them now? Are we jumping over them? Good morning, Heartbeat Rochelle. Good morning, Heartbeat Eunice. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, Heartbeat Elaine and Heartbeat Donald. How are we doing now that the enemy has been exposed? How are we doing? So are we like jumping over these distractions now? They're not getting us. Somebody say something back to me, please. How are we doing with it? Remember yesterday we were like we were exposing him and we said the Bible says when a thief is exposed, he's got to repay you seven times. So it is ching ching time for you. Noticing the more. Good job, Harvey Damani. Harvey Shaw says, oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, well, let's let's get right into it then, unless somebody else wants to comment. I'm seeing them more and more. Good job, Harvey Sean. Good morning, Harvey Carolyn. And so let's get right into it. You know how we're going to do this. Come on, let's give God a praise on this morning. Harvey Latonya says, yes, working on it. That's great. That's great. Let's give God a praise. I'm loving the exposure. Yes, yes. Because once he's been exposed, like we can do better. We can be aware of being more aware of his activity. I am acknowledging the distraction and speaking God's word. Good. He is crying, paying a lot of attention, speaking God's word over them. Yes, 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 yes. This is wonderful. Love it, love it, love it. So let's give God a praise that we are um, seeing more of the distractions, that we're noticing them, which means we are getting better, which means we can do it. It's been confirmation of what I already know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God a praise because he is good. See, when we overcome these distractions, we're able to walk into what God has for us. And remember yesterday when I was given the definition of distractions, I said that it's when somebody takes something and stops you. So it causes you to no longer move because this distraction, it is done what it's supposed to do. It stops you. But when we're made aware of his tactics and it's only three, it's only three major ones that he uses. And so when we're made aware of those, now we can see, we know what to look for and we won't allow it to stop us and we're able to keep moving. God is so good. He's worthy to be praised. I love what he's doing for his people. All I've been hearing, Heartbeat Nation, is that God wants to do something for you that is going to change your life for the better. And so that is why it is imperative to spend time with God. Is it, imper it is imperative to hear his voice. It is imperative to not be distracted so that you can hear what heaven is saying to you. Amen. And so this morning, let me, for those who don't know, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Welcome to the gathering of hearts by God wants me whole. And in God wants me whole, the word whole means nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broken. And so this morning, we're going to continue on what we've been talking about this week. Um, hi, Harpy Robin. Hi, Harpy Kevin. We're going to continue to... Um, move on into what we've been talking about this week. Today, though, we're going to talk about overcoming these distractions. Good morning, Heartbeat Alia. Overcoming distractions. And so we want to be able, now that they've been exposed, now we know what they are. Now we know what to look for. Now we want to beat this thing forever. Amen. We want to beat it forever. Like, this is it. Remember yesterday I said, the devil's time is up. No longer can he hold you. And so now we're going to talk about how to overcome these distractions. And the first one is this. It's quite simple. All of these are quite simple. Create a distraction-free um, environment. 
create a distraction-free environment. So eliminate the distractions that are obvious. So let's just say you're trying to read your Bible. And so don't get into an environment where there are a whole lot of people. Don't, you know, have your TV on, um, you know, your phone, silence your apps, do things that you know that you can do that are quite simple just to make sure that your environment is a distraction-free environment. So let's just say you're a person that's trying to work on spending. And so you have to go to the mall. So don't go through the mall through the entrance when you got to walk through a whole lot of stores to get to the store that you're going to. Ladies, I'm trying to help you out. Um, you want to go to the store or go to the anchor store that's closest to the store that you're going to. So like for me, if I'm going to go to Tyson's Corner and I know I'm only going to grab some food from Cheesecake Factory, then I'm not going to go in through Saks where I have to go through Saks and see all of the pretty shoes and see the, the perfumes and all of that. No, I'm going to take my little self right to that entrance to Cheesecake Factory, take that elevator up, get my food come back down, get in my car. I'm not going to place myself in an environment where I will get distracted from why I really came there and then start spending money that I should not spend. Amen. Is that a good example for you? Like, like I said, ladies, I'm trying to help you out. So don't place yourself in an environment that's not conducive for you to stay focused or that will take you from the things of God and the call that's on your life. That could also be friends. Don't get in an environment where you're with people who are not for the same things that you're for. So if you know that you're trying to, you know, work on things don't put yourself around people who are not trying to do the same thing that, it, that you are. Put yourself in an environment where it's conducive for God to move in your life. So when we think about, we don't, and the other thing is, don't think more highly of yourself than you should. You know, sometimes we can say, oh, I'm good. You know, I got this under control. Don't be like Samson. Samson thought that he had everything under control, but he didn't realize where he had placed himself. He placed himself around a woman whose strategy, her ultimate goal was to bring him down. She did what a thousand men couldn't do. And so we want to make sure that we don't think too much, too highly of ourselves thinking that I've got this mastered. I've conquered this thing. We saw what happened with Samson. Delilah took his, his, she stole his identity. Remember that was one of the ones that we talked about on yesterday about stealing his identity. And so that was the first basic distraction that we talked about yesterday. Day. Um, he let Delilah distract him from his overall purpose. So he never fulfilled the total call or the total purpose of his life. And you can read about that in Judges, um, what is it? 13 through 16. So knowing who you are, remember we went over this yesterday. It's essential. Your identity is always what the enemy is going to come after. And so not only did, um, Delilah do that one. Delilah did all three to Samson. She was a distraction of mobility because she caused him not to be able to move. Remember, he lost his strength. He couldn't do what he used to do. She was also the distraction of the imitation, the pre pre presentation of a gift. He thought he was getting some good that night when he went to her room. He didn't realize that everything was going to be taken away from him. And so make sure that you are not the modern day Samson or the modern day Samsina. I just made that name up. Make sure you're not the modern day Samson or the modern day Samsina. So number two is to make a schedule to avoid distractions and take regular breaks. And so you want to follow your schedule. You want to stay focused on one thing at a time because it takes focus to accomplish anything. We don't want to be a modern day Martha who lost focus. Remember we talked about her being so busy and neglecting the most important thing. Jesus was right there in her face, but she was so busy trying to clean up, so busy getting in Mary's business and all of that. So we don't want to be a modern day uh, Martha either. So we want to stay focused. We want to do one thing at a time. We want to make a schedule to avoid distractions. And then we want to take regular breaks. We're taking regular breaks so that your mind can be free, so that you can stay focused. Number three, and I don't think that I'm going to finish all of these today, so we'll finish them up tomorrow. Number three is um, set daily realist realistic goals. Don't overwhelm yourself with things that you know you can't do. 
Um, after that, uh, tackle small assignments first and then work up to the larger task. So if we're going to overcome these distractions, don't take on, um, don't bite off more than you can chew as the older generation used to say, you want to just do things that you know that you can do. You want to set realistic goals. So realistically, if you know that on Saturday, you can't get up, you can't wash the clothes, you can't, you know, do all the other things that need to be done, set realistic goals for yourself. If you're trying to read the Bible more, set realistic goals for yourself. Don't read the Bible at night when you're tired. You, we already know how that story is going to end. So set realistic goals for yourself. Read the Bible maybe 20 minutes during the day here. And then, you know, another 20 minutes there. But do it while you're up. That's setting a realistic goal that I want to be able to do this. You know, set realistic goals with your friends. If it's something that you know you can't commit to, don't commit to it. If you know that you're trying to better yourself, it, okay, here's a good one. If you know that you're trying to, you know, get your health back into shape, you know, get your body back into shape, set a realistic goal. Don't tell yourself I'm going to lose 30 pounds in, in, in what? I don't know, 45 days. That's not realistic. So set realistic goals, start eating differently. Maybe start taking walks. Well, I'm going to walk three days out of the week. That's something that's realistic. Number four, break the habit. And here's the, probably the most difficult one out of all of them. Locate the habit and break it. And this is where you have to do some soul searching. This is when you have to have those hard conversations with yourself. You have to be truthful. Don't sugarcoat anything because after all, you're talking to yourself. Ask yourself, why do I do these things? And I said, this one is probably the most difficult one because here is where you have to face yourself. Here is where if there are any fears to, as, as to the reason is why you're doing it, your fear has now got to face the God that you know. And so here's where, you know, a lot of people, when we're talking about wholeness, anytime we're talking about wholeness, you got to get into the root of the thing. It's just like, um, um, planting, you know, when you're outside in your garden or outside in the grass, you're planting flowers, you have to dig up weeds and you have to, you know, kind of toil the land a little bit. And so it's the same thing when we're overcoming brokenness and walking into wholeness, we've got to deal with those issues that cause the brokenness in the first place. And so the same things with distractions. Why am I getting distracted? Is it something that I don't want to do? Is it something that I don't want to deal with? Is it something that I'm afraid of? Is it something that I don't like? Does it remind me of a painful event? We've got to figure out why am I getting distracted in the first place? And so, you know what? I'm going to stop right there on number four. Um, the other thing is that, that you need to do for this one is replace bad habits with good habits replace bad habits with good habits. This is how we break the habit. This I'm still in number four. Replace the bad habits with good habits. So learn to meditate, learn to exercise, do something that makes you feel really relaxed. You know, find your happy place. I'm always saying find your happy place because your happy place will take you out of that disgruntled place quickly. For me, my happy place is music. My happy place is going on a long drive because it allows me to get out of where I am and get to where I need to, where I can hear God, where I can hear what's being said to me, where there are no distractions. And when I take that ride, I take that ride by myself because I don't want any outside influences, any outside voices. And so that's it for that's your daily dosage for today. Overcoming distractions one through four. We'll finish up. I think we have, we have, we have. We have seven of them. And so we'll go through the last three on tomorrow. Again, I'm your Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. You know how we end this. Say God wants me whole and I'm getting whole by the minute. Make sure you continue to work on overcoming these distractions. I'm telling you, it is going to change your life. You're going to see God move more and more in your life. And you're going to find that you are walking in your purpose and you're going to find that everything that God has for you, that it will be fulfilled. I love you guys a bunch and I will see you tomorrow morning at 730.